Hi everyone, welcome to High Plane Games. This is Simon here, and this is One Shift, which is a really interesting puzzler, and I want to walk you through the initial level so that I can explain to you the puzzle mechanics um, without getting bogged down in me trying to work out how to complete these levels. Uh, there are 90, I believe, in the game itself. Uh, but yeah, you start off with a character, you can get up to six, and the idea initially is just to get to the cube without falling off the world. So it sounds really, really simple for these opening couple of levels. What you will very quickly find though is that the mechanics here are twofold. The first one is that you can freeze time and when you freeze time you can swap and or essentially shift the world to move from one state to another and then you can maneuver yourself across, freeze and swap back and that will give you what you need. So far so simple, he says. But then there becomes different states as you go along. So you'll work out that you need to be able to jump around on these and then kind of do a launch, pause and switch mid-jump and then be able to get the cubes. And what the levels do over time is basically muck around with this mechanic to put more and more and more things in your way to think about as you're traversing, freezing and then switching. And that's why it's called one shift because you're essentially always on one plane and you're always on that square. But what you have to do to then get through said plane changes constantly all the time. And sometimes there'll be planes in that are just gonna get in your way. You can see I'm getting a stomach of chubmumps there. Uh, and that's all well and good. Um, but that's not good. So you kind of have to work out what you're going to do um, to get round. It reminds me, even though it's not really the same type of mechanic, um, of the Echo Chrome games on PlayStation 3 and Echo Shift, um, where you're having to line stuff up and work out where you're going to get to somewhere. So some of this will be around like position placement so for up here I need to be able to get to there and then run round and you need to kind of plan out how you want to get round to somewhere in advance so that you can get stuff done now very quickly it starts adding on things like um, bounce pads and the ability to then start shifting the mechanic and what I've not got to the levels yet, because you have to get through the 50 levels of working out how to get to the cube, is that it starts working out so that when you use the buttons to shift around, uh, the whole world shifts around in a state as well. So it's not just um, flipping between these states, but you can also rotate them around. And I can see that being a real head screw. Um, of course you can shift so that you end up actually stuck in a block, like that. Uh, and if you do then come out from that, you will get told that you're unable to uh, pause on that one. So let's come back here. Right. Let's go here. There we go. Oh. Dang it. There we go. <laughs> hey. 
So that is one shift. I have to say that I really, really like the way how the each uh, level... Ah, oh, there we go. We're starting to get the introduction of bounce mechanics in this one. Uh, how each game um, start really does make you think, and then you start getting the multiple key levels. Um, from here on in but each level is really well designed uh, and across this whole game um, even though I'm getting stuck on some of the later levels it's not because the levels are like obtuse it's just sitting there and trying to unpick where you want something to go next uh, so I want to jump then pause and then I can't get it, I'm too low. So where I am, we'll switch to the jump pad and then I'll pause. And there we go. So that's one shift. I absolutely love the game. Uh, highly, highly, highly recommend it. It plays really well. The, gr the graphics are solid but and stylized, but actually really good to run on a low PC. Full controller support as well. At 100 Steam achievements? which feels a bit excessive. It's one for every level, practically, and then, like, when you're doing things like freezing and shifting, it gives you, like, cumulative ones for that as well. Um, yeah, I just... I just really like it, and I want people to know about it so that you can pick it up uh, and enjoy. There we go. We'll end on a high. Thank you so much for joining me on High Plane Games. This is One Shift, available on PC and Steam now. Go pick it up. I love it. A written review will be over on High Plane Games later on this week. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music, and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.